Hello, Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome back to Leadership TK. Oh, the night show via podcast. I am here. It's about 9.21 p.m. I did not forget about you. Uh, There's a previous meeting that was going on that went beyond the nine o'clock time frame. So again, I do apologize for that. But we are indeed here um, live. And I will be, of course, sharing on in our little special group on Facebook that I am live so that we can get uh, our fellow listeners to chime in until the until the episode tonight so i'm going to i'm just going to type in join me on the podcast platform so podcast platform i am now live Okay. So again, thank you so much for those of you who listen into this podcast. I know that there's so many of you from around the world to do so. I think the last episode last night, we went and went into some of the countries that listen into it. Uh, Germany was up there, Virgin Islands. I think we had Hungary up there. We had Greece. Man, it was so many countries. And I just thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Leadership TKO, the night show. Is a brand that's housed under a limited liability company that's entitled uh, the International Leadership Education and Development Company. It's based in Chesapeake, Virginia, in the United States. Uh, and the whole mission of the podcast or the brand, Leadership TKO, uh, and the company is to partner with, with small businesses, with associations and universities to build winning leaders. So that's the whole purpose of the brand and the company. Now, you can learn more about the brand by visiting www.leadershiptko.com to find out and learn more. Uh, But TKO stands for Truths That Have Kept the Overcomer. And there are some principles that are pretty much similar across different platforms and settings, including the home, the organizations that we're part of, as well as businesses. It's just truths that are similar uh, and standard across the board. And uh, we talk about some of those truths as a part of this brand. I I go into detail about these truths inside of a book that I'm going to be publishing uh, in July. Now, the exact date I am going to definitely give you tomorrow. Uh, So stay tuned for that. I have a launch date in mind. Uh, But again, thank you so much for being connected to this brand. Now, one thing I can tell you. Uh, is that we have several subdivisions within this brand. We have the Leadership TKO for authors. We have Leadership TKO for internet marketers. We even have Leadership TKO uh, for believers that's actually going to be coming out soon. Oh, yes. Uh, That's going to be launching in 2018. Uh, But one subdivision that I'm going to tell you about that's really sparked a lot of interest is Leadership TKO for women. And that subdivision launched at the end of February uh, early March while I was in Thailand, Bangkok. Uh, so I, t- I often tell this story uh, to many people, but just to keep it short, we launched it there and it's a campaign that we continued with here in the States. Okay. It's the born to lead global women's leadership campaign. And this thing is going to be even taken off even quicker because some of the women that's connected to this campaign have expressed an interest in having seminars in various places across the United States. Now, if you're listening in and you say, well, Lakeisha, I want a seminar in my country. You could right now be in South Africa. You want a seminar? We're going to bring it to you. You could be right now in China or in the Philippines or Australia or Greece or the United Kingdom or wherever. And you want a seminar, go ahead and write in the comments area, bring a seminar here and we will be in contact with you and we will make some arrangements together to make that happen. Because we're the purpose of the campaign is to unite women. So we want to come together with you to unite and to be able to celebrate one another, your gifts, your purpose, uh, and really help you to plunge forward with your careers. That's one part of the mission as far as the purpose of this campaign um, and to build female leaders. But the other portion of it is to bring awareness to some issues that we face as women and to consider some of the solutions that exist already and even to brainstorm effective solutions that may be of more assistance. So that's what we're here to do with this campaign. Now, when I say we, I'm referring to myself and five other great women, and that is Takara Steele, uh, Shalia McDaniel, Dr. Remy Duye, Maricela Messner, 
and Cheryl Harris Sutton. These women have joined with me to launch this campaign and I couldn't be more happier uh, to really go forward with them to build leaders around the world. Now, I do encourage you to visit the website to get directly connected to the campaign. Uh, And that website is www.borntolead2017.com. B-O-R-N-T-O-L-E-A-D-2017.com. That's how you can get connected, okay? Um, And if you want to learn more about this entire campaign, all the elements that's involved, including the book, the global reality show, uh, the conventions and seminars, as well as the upcoming play, visit the primary website, which is www.leadershiptkoforwomen.com. But what I want to share with you tonight, as you may see, the topics that we've been having for this week for the podcast, this week we're focusing on burnout. And so I want to really talk about what burnout looks like, okay? I'm not going to be here long to talk about it in so much great length because we are going to be continuing to talk about this tomorrow. But burnout with women, sometimes, I'm going to be honest, I know with women, sometimes what we do, we, I find that we isolate ourselves a lot. I don't know if you agree with that, but we isolate ourselves. It's almost like we go into hiding. And we, it's almost like it leads us down to a depression if we do not raise our voices and call out for help. Many of them, you know, you, you, you stress out, you have these headaches, right? And then it does an, a number on your bodies, right? You either overeat, undereat, you stay in the house, you're stressed, you're kind of being irritable, yelling at others. You're just not satisfied. Your attitude changes. Can I mean, do you feel that way? Yeah, of course, I can't hear you say yes. But do you feel that way often? You know, when people, when women specifically are burned out, these are just some of the signs that I see. And that's what it looks like. It's just irritable, just attitude. You know, some guys will say that she's PMSing. <laughs> but um, this is something that happens and you're, you're not living a satisfied lifestyle when you're burnt out. OK, it's almost like you're, you're just separating yourself and kind of pulling and dis- detracting, dis- you know, kind of pulling yourself away from the norm, apart of, away from what you normally do, separating yourself, distancing yourself away from family, away from and even just taking days off just for no reason. Or you may even become rude with customers or, you know, just doing things that's unlike yourself. That's what I see happen when women face burnout. Um, but there is hope, okay? We're not going to just stop there and talking about it. We can do something about it. We can definitely raise our voices when we realize we're not happy. When you're not happy with your job and it's just too much, you need to see if you can take off of work if you have a nine to five. Uh, even if you need to take off a couple of days and, or a day and you may not get paid for it. I understand you need the money, but which one is more important right now in this season? You, the money or you being alive and still having a job because you you take away from mental health reasons. It's important for you to take that break when you need it. It's critical for you to do that. So please, please, if at all possible, please take that break for yourself and take care of you. Go get your hair done, your nails done. Take a break. Go for a drive. Go to the park. Take a walk. Do whatever you need to do. But take a break from the norm. Go see a family member that's not nearby. Go see a friend. Spend time with a girlfriend, right? Go out on a date longer than normal with your spouse. Yes, date your spouse, okay? These are just some things you can do to kind of address that issue of burnout because you can be burnt out in your marriage, burnt out as a parent, burnt out on your job, and burnt out uh, in your business, And when you're burnt out in your business, my goodness, you're not working at all. You're not doing anything. You burnt out at home, you're yelling, you're irritable, or you're really separated from everything. You just, it's anything goes. Your house is probably a mess. Um, You're not cleaning up. There's nothing going on. There's no action. Okay. And even at your job, when you're burnt out, you can risk losing your job because you're, you're not acting like your normal self. And sometimes you might even act unprofessional. So this is just something to think about when it comes to burnout and what it looks like and some things that you can do to help yourself to avoid it because it's real. 
and we I don't want you to lose your job. I don't want your business to, to have to close and I don't want your family to be upset with you. So let's address this. Let's let's begin to take action and do something positive for yourself. All right. So if you found this information helpful, you know, some of the stuff I talked about is true. Go ahead and like this episode um, that lets me know that you're out there, you know, in the TKO world and you're listening in. Be sure to get connected to this campaign. It doesn't matter what which country you are from. Get connected by visiting www.borntolead2017.com. Remember, we have the upcoming convention coming up in five days. That's on this coming Saturday, May 27th at Ports in Portsmouth, Virginia. It's at the Village Church of Portsmouth, located at 900 Portsmouth Boulevard. Learn more about this convention by visiting www.leadershiptkoconvention.com. Be sure to enter in the code Mother's Day to receive a $125 gift on behalf of the organization. But we look forward to seeing you inside of the campaign group on Facebook. So when you go to borntolead2017.com, you're going to be taken to a questionnaire. After submitting the questionnaire on your laptop or desktop, you're going to be sent to the Facebook group. And that's where we're mingling, okay? Building up businesses, encouraging women with mental health. That's what we're doing in that group. So we look forward to seeing you there. Look forward to seeing you at the convention on this coming Saturday. Uh, But of course, we're going to be back here tomorrow to continue talking about women and burnout. We're going to talk about positive solutions and how to implement those solutions. Oh, yes, we're going to talk about it. So thank you so much for listening tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being connected to Leadership TKO. Tell your aunts, your cousins, your friends, your business colleagues about this podcast as well. But until tomorrow, remember to think, speak and live leadership. Be blessed.